We'll go live. Three, two, one. And I believe we're live. <laughs> Hope it's still downloading, setting it up. We're getting going, setting up the webinar. Looks like we're going. And is it there? Yes, I think we're there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I'm talking to you live from Awesome Video Makers Headquarters, Big Reach Video Headquarters. And today I'm going to do a training on how to create addictive video content. And I'm sharing with you some very new information for me, um, which is that I just took a course on Creative Live by the same title, How to Create Addictive Content. And this course was actually developed for people who are writers and people who are blogging. But I took some of the highlights from what I learned and I want to transfer it directly into video because there's some things here that are just really good nuggets of gold <laughs> that I want to share with you today. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you as a takeaway is just when you're doing your videos, you want to really be thinking about developing your own personal brand and leaning into what that is for you. And this, this gives you this tremendous advantage in your marketplace because, you know, obviously no one else is exactly like you. So, you know, you have your professional skill set, you know, and that's, and there's probably a lot of people who are, have a similar skill set who are what you would call your competition and they're doing some similar thing uh, in your, in your industry, or they're doing some similar thing in your neighborhood. And there are people like you who are around you doing the same thing. Like here in Boston, there are a lot of people who do something to do with video. And so technically speaking, I could be looking around going, wow, there's lots of competition. You know, how am I ever going to stand out? However, you have these other attributes. You have your personal or your personality, you know, just kind of the person who you are. And you have the things that you're really passionate about. And the one that I like the best is you have your guilty pleasures. <laughs> oh, look, the lights went out. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Hang on just a second. I gotta get these lights on. <laughs> lights go on. Do, do, do. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what happens when you sit too still in a room for too long. Uh, the lights are on a motion detector and they should be fine now, but <laughs> that's too funny. Anyway, so here's the thing. You have professional skills, you have your personality, and you have your passion and your guilty pleasures. So all of those things are completely unique to you. And this is where you, can, you totally can kiss your competition goodbye because no one has that same combination as you do. So when you're in your doing your video, you know, rather than be focusing and thinking about, well, I have to share this particular information today. I have to really cover this particular topic. I really need to impart this valuable thing that I have to impart. Rather than doing that, you know, make a video and make your videos around this other part, which is really helping to bring your personality and your passions and even your guilty pleasures into the conversation. So my assignment, you know, on this particular part is that I want you to make a video <laughs> and, and bonus points, if you can make a video and bring value and at the same time share a guilty pleasure, try that out and see what happens. Uh, what will happen there is that because you're a fanatic about one particular thing or that you're in love with one, one particular thing, the people out there that that really resonates with you, that's who you're going to attract. And it's really what you want to do. So, you know, just, don't just be, you're, you know, this whole thing about being yourself, you know, that sounds kind of bland and maybe undefined. Go a little deeper and pull out something that you're really deeply passionate about or, you know, my, one of my guilty pleasures is that I, I drink chai tea <laughs> and you'll see it in my videos. I'm often sitting here with a cup of tea and I'll talk about, you know, how I have this chaiaholic background <laughs> and I'm in a 12 step program for tea drinking. <laughs> and that's just part of my, part of who I am. And the other people out there who can appreciate that, whether they drink 
tea or whether they drink chai tea or not, it doesn't really matter. Everybody has some kind of, you know, hot beverage addiction <laughs> usually, and they can relate to it. And, you know, that's, so that's, that's one example that I do. Okay, so second thing I wanna cover is I want you to look, you know, sort of along, along with your passions, when you come to like, what am I gonna do a video on in the near future, like next week or the week after, and you're sitting down planning out your content for maybe your next two, three or four videos. What I'd like you to do is go after the things that heat you up. Uh, go after the things that in you are part of your emotion. And you know, there's really nothing worse than feeling like you're obligated to make a video that isn't very interesting to you. Like for instance, if your audience asks you a question or they're, they're saying, look, we'd really like to hear this from you. And you're thinking, oh yeah, I can see why they want to hear that from me, but actually I'm really bored about talking about that subject. That doesn't really you know, get me going very much. Don't do that. <laughs> Even though people may be clamoring to you know, get you to do something for them, if it's not interesting to you and you do make a video, it's gonna show that it's not interesting to you and the video is gonna be kind of flat and there won't be any passion in it. There won't be any you know, drive that's coming from you on that topic. So when you're planning your, your stuff in the future, think about the stuff that really heats you up, the thing that it really sort of, uh, you've got some passion for and you're, you know, for one reason or another, this is something you really want to share. And here's some ideas about how to, how to go about like picking that kind of content. So number one is think about something that really frustrates you in your industry. And that could be any number of things. And on the, on the next uh, group call that we do, I would like to actually go over these together and we can do kind of a group thing where I say, okay, pick one of these and, and give this an example. And we can talk about building this content together. Uh, another example would be, what are your greatest turn-ons or turn-offs in either your business or in life. So what's really turning you on? Or on the other hand, what's really turning you off? And that could either be a work thing or a business thing, or it could be just something that's going on in your life. And think about an example there and see what kind of topic or series of topics could come from that idea. Um, this is this the other one. I, I think it's just great. What's your secret dream? <laughs> what, what's this thing that you have that you don't normally share or you keep hidden? And it's sort of like this, oh, I have a secret dream. Whatever that is for you, that would make a great video. Or may, again, like maybe a series of videos. Like what's your secret dream? What's the thing that you would really love to see uh, for yourself or for other people or whatever that looks like and that you haven't shared yet? And then... Lastly, um, when was the last time you did something that you didn't think you could do? <laughs> if, and everybody has an example of that. Somewhere in your life, you tried something out and, and you didn't think you could do it, but you tried it anyway and tell the story of what happened. And it doesn't matter whether you tried it and you fell on your face or you tried it and you surprised yourself by being able to do it. Um, so there's, there's four ideas. Um, what frustrates you in your industry? What are your greatest turn-ons or turn-offs in either business or life? And uh, what's your secret hidden dream? <laughs> and when was the last time you tried to do something that was you thought was like impossible? And uh, after trying it out, like what happened? What's that story? So the last thing I wanna cover on this training right now is um, this thing about what you call your video. Like, so you've, you've done this content planning. You, first of all, you're developing your personal brand. You're leaning into your personality and your passions. And then you come up with video content that is something where you're really like turned on to do this content. There's some emotional piece of you like, okay, I'm really driven to do this piece of content. So pick one of those four things and that's the topic that you're going to cover. Now you need to come up with a title for the video. And this is a thing that I see uh, people just not spending as much in, uh, attention to as they should, because that title, 
is sometimes going to make the difference over whether somebody watches your video or not. And you want to think of it in the context of uh, particularly when you've made your video and you've, let's say you've embedded it onto a blog post and then you send out an email to your email list, uh, the title you know, of that video wants to be the subject heading in your email. And that subject heading is going to make all the difference in terms of whether people open up that email and then see that there's a video and then go watch the video. So you, you really need a good, compelling title. And I don't want anyone to be thinking like, oh no, I'm really terrible at writing copy. <laughs> this is gonna be really difficult. Uh, I've got a process here to share that actually is simpler than you might think. So um, what you wanna to try to do here is you want to um, go looking around for other uh, examples of what you're talking about. So for example, um, you take you know, something that is generally the, the subject, uh, so let's say the keywords of what you're trying to be talking about in this video. So let's say that I wanted to uh, do a topic on mindset habits, like habits that, you know, what are good habits to develop to acquire a positive mindset. And so I just go into Google and I type in mindset habits. And I've just done that. Um, let's just take a look here. And so on Google, I can go over here and on the mindset habits page of my search result, uh, I've got a number of titles, you know, that just pop up in the results. And it says things like seven growth mindset habits for success. Okay, so I can remix that in a bunch of different ways. Lists like this are good. Like anytime you have a list with a number in it, um, that's great. And people seem to really like lists. So that's a positive one. And saying for success is another one. It's like everybody wants success. So here's seven blah, blah, blah for success. So right here, I've got a headline that I could use for just about anything. Um, seven killer video marketing habits for success, you know, would be another one. Um, seven um, uh, meditation practices for, you know, wealth management. <laughs> I mean, I'm just making this up, but you can sort of imagine like you can take this same title and just remix it uh, with a couple word, you know, keyword substitutions and make it fit whatever subject you want. I'll give you another example here. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, make the switch to better habits and mindset. Okay, so there's another good one. Make the switch to, and then fill in the blank. <laughs> make the switch to, you know, better live video. <laughs> make the switch to, you know, you name it. Um, <laughs> whatever, you know, this is sort of a before and after. People are thinking, well, I'm stuck over here and I can make the switch to this thing. So, you know, that's another good headline. And what I want to just here is that doing this is really, really easy. And you can, you know, pick the keyword of any keyword you want, go onto Google, type that keyword in, see what the results are, and you're going to see a bunch of articles come up with different headlines. And then you can just swap out, you know, do a little remix of uh, word matching and create a new headline that has the similar quality, a similar com you know, sort of compelling, oh, I really want to know about this with your subject inserted. All right. <laughs> so here's the assignment. Um, I want you guys to, uh, first of all, lean into your personality and your passion and you know the, the hidden parts of you that are really who you are. And um, so for example, you know, if you have this thing that is like your guilty pleasure, mine is chai. <laughs> So make a video which, where you include that. Like in the next video that you make, include something you're passionate about or some guilty pleasure that you have as part of what you're doing. Then along with that, um, pick one of these things. You know, what's frustrating you? Um, what's, what's the greatest turn on or turn off? That would be another idea. Or what's your secret dream? Or when was the last time you tried to do something 
And was it really difficult or hard? And what happened? So pick one of those things and make that the topic of your video and then do the headline remix. You know, when you come up with a topic, then go on Google and do a little search and come up with this really interesting, compelling headline that has your topic, you know, inserted as the remix into it. All right, so that's what I have for you today. And I'm gonna wrap it up and I will see you in the next group call. And I'm looking forward for you guys posting these videos <laughs> in the Big Reach video page. So I'll see you next time. So long. <laughs> and now I gotta go back here and find the off button. <laughs> All right, here we go.